In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create this non-static eye highlight inside of Blender. If you don't want to hear me yap, just move to the timestamp shown right here. Let's start out with this shader node made available by Ruki Kuri. Alright, let's see what's inside here. And because I'm lazy, you may pause the video right here to copy all these inputs. Now that you're ready to move on, let's start making the eye highlights. First, you need a mapping node. and a vector math, then shift D to duplicate, click on the drop down and turn it to multiply. Alright, now let's preview this. And also, just for your future reference, multiply node is for the size, and the add node is for the location. Now you may see that it doesn't look like a highlight, so you want to just add a gradient texture and a color ramp, and turn it to constant. Let's move the right slider more to the left. Then don't forget to turn this gradient texture to spherical. Now you just want to mess with the size to your liking and then change the position too. And as you can see, when I move my camera, the highlight is non-static. Moving onwards, let's combine this with our eye texture. So first you want to add a mixed color and then connect your texture to A. Connect your result to color and then your color ramp to B. And make sure instead of mix, it's on add. Then turn the factor all the way up to one. For the sake of organization, let's group these with Ctrl G. Now let's create our second highlight by duplicating with Shift D and connecting it to a mixed color node. And swap the mix for an add. Then move the highlight above to A and the second one to B. And then connect it to the color ramp. Since this is more or less the same process, I'll be speeding this up. Now that we're done with that, I should explain that the factor on this node right here affects how much the highlight moves. That means the lower the value, the less it moves, and the higher, the more it moves. And I usually keep it at around 0.150. And that concludes the tutorial. The rest of the video is just going to be me polishing the highlights. And thank you for watching and subscribe for more. the notes that I need to copy for this highlight shader. 